y'all. So your girl is back again, y'all. I just took my tub. Uh, so I got a nice fresh bath, y'all, before I um start my cooking for Thanksgiving. So how many of y'all start cooking like a week uh, before y'all cook some of your uh Thanksgiving uh meals the week before y'all just to get it out the way? So a couple of my meals that I do early is my sweet potato pies and my collard greens, y'all. So I like to get that out the way. I'll go ahead and cook it and put the greens in a freezer until next week. Uh, and it'll be nice and ready. So that's one less thing that I have to do on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, so yeah, that's how we do it down south, y'all. So y'all know if y'all from the south, y'all already know we clean our collard greens really, really good, y'all. And we normally clean them in the bathtub, y'all, because y'all know if y'all come from the south, we have a big family, y'all. So we just put them in there. Uh, that's how I was raised, y'all. My aunt, my grandma, my mom, they all clean their greens. In the tub, y'all, nice and clean. We soak them in there. They pick them and do them all that. Right in the tub, y'all. Um, that's just how it is, y'all. Because normally, like I said, it'd be a whole lot. Even though I'm not cooking for a big, big family, y'all, that's still just the way I do it, y'all. I don't know any other way. So, uh, we get that uh, going, y'all. We're just going to go ahead and start um, soaking our greens in the tub, y'all. And I'm going to show y'all how I season and make mine. Y'all know my belly's dropping. So it's kind of low, but I'm still trying to stay active, y'all. Um, so as long as I'm not, you know, feeling no type of pain or whatever, I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, cleaning my greens. I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to show y'all how I do it. And y'all let me know how y'all clean y'all greens and how y'all season it, what y'all put in it, turkey tips, uh, ham hocks. What do y'all put in y'all greens? I'm going to put uh, turkey tips in mine. So let me know what y'all do. Y'all might call it something else. We call it turkey tips. Some people call it turkey tails. All the same thing, y'all. <laughs> but let me show y'all how I get started. Let me get the greens, y'all. Hold on. Y'all know I got to be real careful, y'all, because y'all know. Your girl about, about ready to pop, y'all. But I need to cook because I don't like eating other people's food. I don't really like nobody cooking for me, y'all. So especially like my greens, mm -mm, your girl got to do it. I know my tub is clean. I know ain't nobody else been in here but me. So, yeah, that's how we get down. Let me go ahead and get the water started, y'all. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. Y'all gotta bear with me, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all see, huh? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hope y'all can see y'all. So you can start off putting a little bit of water in there. I let mine soak, y'all, before I actually start um, ripping it off. I let it all soak, y'all. I just put it all in there, y'all, and soak, just like that. Fresh collard greens, y'all. Hold on. In the tub, honey. In the tub, yep. I don't know how many I bought, y'all. I bought like a lot of them. Because y'all know it looks like a lot, y'all. But y'all know it don't be a lot. Y'all know how greens would it do, y'all. By the time they cook down, honey, all these greens are going to be like, what, two little bowls. It's going to be two little bowls of greens, honey. But y'all know I love my collard greens, honey. And I don't really like nobody cooking for me, honey, so I like cooking my own. So, once you get it in a tub like that, y'all, uh, again, y'all, y'all know my situation, honey. I made it real hot, baby. Add a little bit more water to that thing, honey. Add a little bit more water. Cut out. Just a little bit of soap. Just a little bit, y'all. Not a lot. That's it. That's all you need. Don't put a whole lot of it. Just a little cap full of bleach, y'all. Just a little bit, y'all. For whatever bugs, bacteria, whatever. Just a little bit, y'all. That's it. That's all you need. And voila. Get down here and mix that thing up, y'all. Mix it up just like this, y'all. Right in the tub, honey. I let it soak. Start breaking up your stems just like that. Just like that, y'all. But you're gonna put it back in there, you're gonna let it soak. Cause you want all that off. So you just start breaking your stems off, honey. Right in there, honey. Yeah, that water, you want it to get nice and soapy, y'all. I usually let my greens soak in the tub for maybe like 30, 40 minutes, y'all. Let it soak in that soapy water in that bleach. Kill any bugs or bacteria. Get all that stuff out of there, y'all. And baby, honey, voila. What my towel, y'all? My hands wet. Hold on. So, y'all, 
This is how you do it. This is how I do my greens. I don't know how y'all do y'all greens, but this is how I do mine, y'all. So just put it in the tub. You don't want to fill the tub up with a whole lot of water. Just a little bit, just to cover the top of the collard greens, or whatever greens you're making. I like collards. Uh, so then you just go ahead and add you a little cupful of bleach, a little bit of soap, and just put it in there and just swish it around a little bit. So like I said, I usually let mine sit in here. After I break all the stems off, y'all, break all the stems off of each one of them, I let it sit in here for like 30, 40 minutes, y'all, and just once it's soaked, you know it's clean, then you can go ahead and start. Y'all know how to clean greens, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all know how to do it, honey. And that's how I clean my greens, y'all. How y'all clean y'all greens? I also have my cabbage here, y'all. So I normally slice my cabbage up. Once it's done soaking, about 30 or 40 minutes, I slice this up and go ahead and put it in there, mix it up with it, and then get it ready for the stove in the pot, y'all. So everything is ready to go, nice and clean, right in here. Y'all know your girl back is hurting because y'all know, y'all know, you're eight and a half months pregnant. So, and this plunger is clean, y'all. Plunger is clean. From my house, honey. Woo! Thanksgiving, honey. I can't wait, y'all. They be loving my greens, y'all. They be tearing my greens up. But this year, y'all, I'm not making a whole bunch like I did before. So. So it's like first serve, first come, first serve, y'all. Cause baby. And I just switch it around like that, y'all. Cause y'all know if you get out of breath, cause y'all know I'm about to drop any minute. Woo, honey. Your girl back is killing me. Your girl back is killing me, y'all. But yes, honey. So I'm gonna let this sit in here for 30 to 40 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes. I'll finish uh, cleaning them off, get them ready and put them in a pot, and baby, voila, there y'all have it. This is how I clean my greens, y'all. My greens be so good, honey. Let me tell you, ask anybody that had my greens, baby, they be like, ooh, honey, what you put in your greens? Honey, this is a secret I can't tell you. It's my little secret that I got for my aunt and my grandma, and baby, <clears throat> It is so good. This is my greens, y'all. This is how I clean my collard greens, baby. So y'all see how the water get nice and soapy? Once it get nice and soapy like that, just let it sit for 30 to 40 minutes, 45 tops, and then come back and start finish picking your greens, cleaning them off, getting them ready for the pot. Then you can go ahead and throw your cabbage in there and get it all ready. And that's one meal down. Thanksgiving. Almost here. Bye, y'all. I'll be back. Your girl will be back. I gotta go sit down now.